So right now, Gabs and I were actually just about to view a new warehouse for Gabby's dad's business. You guys may not know this, but he has uh, several shoe brands. Literally, they are the best shoes for men that I have ever worn, ever. I rate them highly. They're basically very, very top-end quality leather shoes for men, like dress shoes and stuff. So if you need them for your next shindig, check out the link in the description. Have, like... Doesn't Gabby look like a 1980s gangster with those sunglasses? You're coming to my house? Right now, we're just waiting on Gabby's dad to, to show up. Um, but it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. You literally look like a 1980s drug dealer. <laughs> Get my sword! You literally do look like a 1980s drug dealer leaning out the car like that. <laughs> and there he is. There he is. Exactly. <laughs> We're going? Go, 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 Gabby. Policia, la policia! You'd be such a good 1980s drug dealer. <laughs> I mean, I would be the biggest mafia of the country. What are you watching? How to breastfeed your kid. How to breastfeed? It's a bit TMI, so please. It's out. a bit TMI. <laughs> Honestly, so many boobs and giant nipples and almost better I think to do instant instinctively, like instead of like place the mouth of the baby underneath the boob. The nipple <laughs> <laughs> So we've bought actually quite a lot of baby stuff, which I actually haven't shown you guys yet. Should we demonstrate? This is our spare room, and all I do in here is my activities and my aerobics. <laughs> We're kind of using it for storing all the baby shit. So like, obviously there we have Leo's bed, so that when Leo's asleep we can just rock him, you know? I'm seriously gonna break. <laughs> And we've got a changing station as well because this is like a little plasticky thing. This is something I never really had to think about because it's really good to clean because apparently babies have explosive diarrhea. And then you have this, which is you put it here and you put your baby here and then you breastfeed. So you just slam your tit out and then you just... I honestly think this is probably the best thing since like bread. It's a great multi-purpose thing because when you're finished with the baby's breastfeeding stage, you can use it as a as a neck pillow. Thing. It's bloody amazing. What? Basically, there's still a massive. Thing there. <laughs> <laughs> I have He's gonna be better dressed than me, man. So we saw the warehouses yesterday. I think Xavier is deciding on which one he wants to buy. I really think he should buy the first one we visited because it was right next to two dirt bike shops that do like, I think they like custom. That's you who bought it. Yeah, I bought that one. Bought I have a good taste, man. The warehouses are right next to these two dirt bike shops. So I was just like, well, this is where we have to live our lives now. I actually am gonna go right now to Ducati Alicante because first of all, it's in the center of the town. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys like the town and stuff. I really wanna go and see Ducati Alicante. Maybe I'll be able to get some test rides booked in. I really wanna test the new Ducati Panigale V4S. I don't think they're gonna be testing the V4Rs, unfortunately, I don't know, but we're gonna see what we can swindle. I also need to go and buy a new hard drive because I have too many pictures and too many videos of things. Gabby's actually left me and Leo right now so he's kind of a bit sad. You don't know what's going on baby do you? What's going on? Don't worry I'm gonna get you a sidecar. A sidecar for Jack Russell's. I am. That's what I'm gonna do. So you can come on the RC8 with me baby. Yes! The only thing is that going into the center town Alicante is a little bit sketchy because it's like a free-for-all. It literally is like every man for himself on the roads and um, yeah, let's see what happens. But hopefully the KTM should be good. I did a 15 minute reset on the KTM's ECU. Basically you turn on the bike, you don't touch the throttle, you let it run for 15 minutes and then you turn it off and what happens is that the ECU recalculates the amount of fuel and air should be going into the bike. So it prevents it can like bogging down at low RPMs because it's been doing that kind of recently. And obviously we're at different atmospheric temperatures than in the UK. So I think it should help it get a little bit more power, be a little bit better in the low RPMs, but I'll give you the verdict when we get there. Let's go. So I don't know if you guys can see, but that castle type of thing over there is actually a, a, a brothel.
to one of the best bakeries I have ever been to ever. Six naturals or 12 chocolates and 12 naturals and six naturals. 12 chocolates and 12 naturals? No, 12, 12 chocolates and six naturals. Yeah, that's true. Why don't we just get all the chocolate? I wish. <laughs> Damn, that place is literally like the best bakery in the world. I'm not even kidding. My inner fat kid was just losing its shit a little bit. But all of this, we got all of this plus some extra bits and bobs was like 13 euros and it's so cheap. Ah, oh, it's amazing. And panania, give me that Panadilla. Shit. Sorry. I don't speak your language, woman. Speak Queen's English. No. Speak the language of the country where you are, bitch. That's probably true. So if you guys haven't seen this yet, this is the... Tom Tom Rider 550 and um, I'm going to be doing an actual like proper in-depth video of it as well on the bike. The only issue is I can't figure out where this goes on the RC8. It is pretty much a nightmare to get on on my bike. It'll be easy as hell on every other bike ever. Mainly because the RC8 doesn't have traditional handlebars that everything's very very wide and um, what's really cool is that this kit comes with a ram mount system which is really really good just doesn't fit anywhere on my bike so I've actually had to order a suction mount holder so that this can be put kind of on the tank um, I think worst case scenario I'll find like a GoPro mount or something and a ball joint to put it on but I want to have this on obviously before I go uh, riding around um, with this on and doing the video. It's a really cool piece of kit and um, I've had a little play around with it but more videos to come on that. So me and Gabby have now been in Spain for about a month and uh, I just got to apologise basically that we haven't been able to put out more videos than what I thought I would be able to. I thought that when we arrived here I'd just be like dropping videos left, right and centre, you know, going for rides and adventures and sharing everything with you guys. But literally, real life has got in the way. I'm not a full-time YouTuber so I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around and supporting the channel I really appreciate every single one of you for watching these videos we've got some really cool stuff coming up with the RC8 it's coming up on a dyno soon uh, there's a dyno place in Alicante and I'm thinking it could probably do about 155 to the rear wheel that's the that's the aim 155 to the rear wheel if it can't get 155 to the rear wheel then we'll have to do something about that and get a tune on it which I'm definitely planning on getting done anyway. There's definitely going to be a tune going on that bad boy at some point. I think I'm going to put a Dominator exhaust on, which is a fairly affordable one. And I had the Dominator on the ZX-6 and I really like the exhaust. It's really good. There are also some horsepower gains from using that one as well, which I'm really excited to see. So Dyno, new exhaust. I really want to wrap the KTM. And I wanted to ask you guys, please help me out. Let me know in the comments section what color I should wrap it. I'm thinking black in general black solid black with hints of orange that for me is just muy bien but on the other side as well i'm thinking white could look really good with hints of orange as well the orange there obviously ktm has to have some orange in there subtleties and stuff but just let me know what you reckon in the comments no stupid i don't want to hear oh i think a purple wrap will do good no i don't want to wrap the bike purple i don't want to do it in hot pink cool color scheme do you think would work well with the rca bear in mind it's a really angular bike we've also got a big trip coming up i want to show you guys this place called guadalest which is a beautiful windy twisty road uh mountain road up to a volcanic lake which is so sick and maybe i'll be able to source a drone hmm anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video as always please do give a like if you like this video you know what to do with the subscriber bell please do click and stay up to date with future content and gabby and i will see you in our next video i'll see you later bye